Another round of letters have been exchanged between the leaders of North Korea and the U.S. The two leaders have been doing so since last year, sometimes in times of trouble. And with the denuclearization talks having been stalled for some four months now, eyes are on whether these letters can bring back the two sides to the table. Or EG1 has more. The White House confirmed on Sunday the report in North Korea's state-run media about President Trump's letter to Kim Jong-un. That's prompted talk of the two sides resuming their meetings, including from Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. And I'm hopeful that this will provide a good foundation for us to begin uh, to continue these important discussions with the North Koreans to denuclearize the peninsula. On whether working-level discussions would begin soon, Pompeo told reporters Sunday that reports coming out of the North suggest there's a good possibility and that the U.S. is ready to go if the North Koreans give the go-ahead. In fact, exchanging letters has been a key way in which Kim Jong-un and President Trump have reconfirmed their trust in each other and their willingness to talk despite the circumstances. It has also added some momentum to the situation. The first personal letter between the two leaders, known to the public at least, was just days before their historic first summit in Singapore last June. In late May, President Trump had canceled the event, pointing to what he called the tremendous anger and open hostility displayed in North Korea's statement, lashing out at Vice President Mike Pence for saying the North could end up like Libya if a deal is not reached. And in an effort to get dialogue back on track, the North's top nuclear negotiator at the time, Kim Young-chul, flew over to the U.S. to hand-deliver Kim Jong-un's giant letter to Trump. Kim Jong-un sent Trump letters in the months to come, too, which White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said addressed their commitment to work toward North Korea's complete denuclearization. And amid slow progress on their negotiation, Kim's letter in September is seen to have helped pave the way to the second summit. The letter ceased after the Hanoi summit ended abruptly in February, but the recent interactions sure seem to be sparking hope in many. But it remains to be seen whether these exchanges will give another push to the North Korea-U.S. talks. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.